Is this thing on? That's an urban camo chart there. Uh, somebody give me my remote control and a sandwich. Hey guys, uh, Thomas Lamb, Mega Metal Magazine. Uh, should uh, start everything out with is um, how's your guys' uh, tour been going for you? Man, we've been lost half the time and high the other half, so it's been great. Amsterdam was amazing. <laughs> now, has there been any uh, cities that, that stand out um, in your mind as the most memorable? Amsterdam. So Amsterdam. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> man, there's this little podunk town we stopped in, and uh, they cooked us some hella barbecue, man. I forget the name of it, but we should talk about it because it was awesome. The ribs. <laughs> the ribs was delicious. <laughs> he loves the ribs. Hey, dude. Your hair looks really good. <laughs> How do you keep your hair looking this good in the in the wind? I'll tell you, man. I wash it daily. <laughs> I don't. So, um, are are you guys doing very many festival shows right now, or are you doing a lot of headlining? Uh, well, we are doing a little bit of headlining, but I think like uh, the day after tomorrow, we're at uh, the mid. Uh, uh, what's it called? Rocket America in Oklahoma City. And uh, we just did Boss Pop over in uh, Europe. And uh, I think we're doing some kind of Orange Fest out in California. And do a lot of festivals. I, I really like the atmosphere at the festival, so it's one of my favorite things to do. Now, for uh, a, a music fan who's never heard of you guys before, how would you describe your music for them? It's kind of like a rodeo, and then it's kind of like professional wrestling, and then it's kind of like NASCAR. Put all three of those together, and you got Texas Hippie Coalition, baby. How you doing, fellows? My name is Ray Michaels. I'm the program director What's of uh, 104.5 The Fox in Wichita, Kansas. Thank you for uh, taking the time. I wish I could do something about the heat and the wind and all that, but uh, I don't have that kind of authority around here. We don't here. know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> talking about. Hey, man, we come from Texas. It ain't even hot here, man. Right. This is a nice, cool <laughs> evening for us. <laughs> well, I figured you guys might be used to it. Uh, just real quick, you guys have one of the best rock names out there. Just, just for a second, for those that don't know, where, where and how, tell the story of how the name came about. Well, I was getting high, and I thought <laughs> THC would be a cool name for a band, but I wouldn't want it to be called Tetrahydra, Cannabinol, whatever. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, uh, I don't know, Texas Hippie Coalition sounds pretty cool to me. It sure is, and uh, just want to again, thanks so much for taking the time to come out and be a part of the festivities out here tonight. Uh, Again, to, uh, you know, when you were talking earlier about a combination of NASCAR meets WWE, is that really what we're going to see on the stage tonight, or is it somewhat uh, a, a musical version of that? And how would you explain that to someone who has never seen a show? Well, I mean, I always describe, you know, if you hear us, it's like a hockey game at home on TV. If you see us live, it's like being in a hockey game. You know what I'm saying? We will most definitely check your ass up against the glass. It's going to happen here today, and it's going to be like one hell of a bull ride. All I got to say is I hope everybody hangs on. Well, I wanted to, again, thank you so much for coming out, and thanks for uh, being a part of the festivities tonight. We really appreciate it. And uh, God bless you and everything. It's our honor. It's travels. definitely a pleasure. Thank and you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, your guys' uh, experience uh, in the recording studio atmosphere. Are you guys all comfortable in that situation? Oh, right on. Yeah, very, very comfortable. I, I think that uh, in the studio it's a breeze. Um, I, I think the only thing that rock stars do or want to be rock stars do that is hard is making videos. I hate making videos. <laughs> they look great. But it's hard, man. You know, I've, I've done some roofing, done some masonry work, worked in a oil field, and doing a video shoot in a 14-hour day is 
hard as hell, man. He's a diva. <laughs> He's a diva. Don't listen to him. He loves the camera. <laughs> now, do you remember the first time the uh, the five of you guys actually played together for the first time? What that was like? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Did you say again? Do you remember the first time you guys actually played together? What that was like? And You know, most bands start off a certain way, like maybe, you know, a band starts off in the jam room or somebody sees somebody at a club. This band, I really put this band together because I was just tired of where music was going. I didn't like what I was hearing on the radio. I didn't like what was out there. And I wanted to do something to let everybody know there's something else other than what you're hearing. There's something else out there. It's deeper. It's, you know, it's not just an off color. It's red. It's white. It's blue. And it's, that's what we want to be, you know, we want to be something totally different. And I said, you know, five years ago when we started this thing, there's an appetite for this. And then two years ago, you could definitely see that there was a hunger for it. And right now, with us having the number 10 metal album in the nation, I think it just lets everybody know that the people are starving for it. And we're going to feed them some southern fried Texas metal, baby. Now, what did you think when you heard that, when you guys uh, placed on the charts? that high up. What did you think about that? I was just pissed off it wasn't higher. I wanted to know whose ass I had to whoop to make it happen. No, I mean, uh, what was really weird is when you're looking at the list and back behind you is Judas Priest and Iron Maiden, you know, bands that you grew up listening to your whole life, you know, and uh, we're just happy to be a part of that music community and uh, we'll, we'll definitely carry a flag and we'll wave it and we'll wave it high and proudly. Now, uh, when you guys uh, went in the studio to record the, the newest record, did the label have any say-so over that, or did they give you total freedom? None control? whatsoever. I'll whoop their ass awesome. if they say anything. Oh, shit. We did it all how we wanted to. <laughs> now, was, was there anything recorded that didn't make it onto the album that you wish would have made it onto it? Well, I mean, I don't know if I would say I wish it would have made it on the album. I think the album is a great ten songs, but there were two more songs recorded. And uh, one of them didn't make the album because of the rough track, because of the vocals on the track. Never got to lay down the exact vocals that I wanted, so we held it back. Um, another one was just kind of a late bloomer, came to the came to the table late. And we decided it was such a good song and where it was at musically, we decided to hold on to it and save it for the next album. When I talk about whooping my label's ass, I will whoop their ass, but Anybody out there that has the chance to say to those guys, hey man, thanks for taking a chance on a bunch of long-haired, redneck <laughs> hippies. You know, nobody out there really has the balls to sign this band. It took a it took a label to come up and start a label and be somebody and try to become somebody and use us as their flagship band and get themselves out there. You know, and to those guys, kudos and uh, do your job right or I'll whoop your ass. That's all I got to say, baby. Um, a lot of people uh, have been talking recently about all these social networking sites out there. What are your uh, guys' personal thoughts and opinions on those crazy things? Man, I just say, take get my phone number and call me, man. I'm tired of all this Twitter in and MySpace. And, I mean, we use all that stuff, but the kid over here, he does all that stuff for us because we hate it. Or, you know, it's all, it's all his generation. He's really good at it. We, we don't even know what the hell we're doing. Keep it up to date. Uh, we try and uh, look at it every, uh, you know, day, day and a half. You know, we do keep up with all the posts. So uh, anyone who's posting out on there, you know, we keep up with it. Yeah, we make him post stuff all the time that he don't want to post. He's like, man, I don't think we should do this. I'm like, oh, who cares? Just do it. There's a pretty good picture of crawfish on there right now. <laughs> There's no good pictures of crawfish. <laughs> Keep my face out. <laughs> all right, well, that's all I had. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, man. Hey, man, appreciate the hell out you.